Hello YouTubers, ladies and gentlemen, this is Jordan Blakey, the Liver Flush Man, here today going to teach you about more liver and gall, liver stone and gallstone, gallstone research, ladies and gentlemen. This is kombucha liquid in there. The kombucha mushroom is right here. This is a longevity drink, one of nature's number one probiotics within the top five probiotic uh, drinks in the world. The kombucha mushroom is a living mushroom that uh, lives off of sugar and green or black tea. White refined sugar works the best, I think, but uh, people have had success with cane sugar, sucanut sugar, um, honey, maple syrup, all kinds of different sugars. But what happens uh, if you use the white refined sugar? It converts the white sugar completely. There is really no sugar left in. It's transformed into uh, a probiotic drink, which means friendly, beneficial bacteria for the intestines. So, I mean, I tried this. I want to see if kombucha would dissolve liver and gallstones, and here is my science experiment. This is five days later after uh, putting the stones directly in the kombucha mushroom uh, tea liquid. And this is five days later, but I must say, after one day, this was completely dissolved just as much as it is now. After one day, 24 hours, it has the maximum effect uh, that it will have on dissolving the stones. I'll give you a description of the stones in the kombucha mushroom uh, drink. The stones are completely dissolved into oily little globules of oil. Um, there's not much substance to them. But look what actually happened because, I mean, I have a videos on how to make kombucha mushroom from scratch. And uh, what you do is you basically take a kombucha drink from a health food store or a grocery store. They're getting more common now. You take the kombucha drink. There's no mushroom in it. You pour that in a big jar like this. Uh, this is a large pickle jar. You pour two of those in. And then the mushroom will grow uh, from there after about a month the mushroom will form and these mushrooms get thicker and thicker as time goes by they grow another mushroom another layer another layer like little pancakes and then they all join together so to make this uh, you buy the kombucha from the store put it in there and put two two jars in there and then put a coffee filter with a rubber band or a cheesecloth and a rubber band or even just a, a, a dish cloth well, with a rubber band that way there's air exchange but no bugs or bacteria can get in mold and fungi or any fruit flies or any kind of bugs so that that's how you grow it from scratch and uh, it ferments so it's a fermented probiotic friendly bacteria drink very good for uh, treating cancer it, uh, it uh, helps combat candida growth in the intestines because this is the good bacteria Candida is the bad bacteria which is cause acidic uh, colon intestines where cancer can grow faster. Uh, so basically these are the, that was the results as you saw there. It maximized after one day. This is five days later. But I want to show you actually neat what happened because this has been sitting for approximately five days. If I reach inside here and actually grab, uh, you can actually see, see the stones are on are on a kombucha mushroom. A kombucha mushroom. You can see it there spinning around. Watch, I'll spin it around. That's the kombucha mushroom that grew even with the stones in the mushroom. The stones are attached to the floating mushroom there. If you can see that, get a better view. See that mushroom floating around in there. That big jellyfish looking thing there, if you can see it. I don't know if you can but the stones are completely attached to it and that is pretty amazing that the kombucha mushroom grew with the stones right in the mushroom and everything the uh, dissolved stones so that may prove that the stones are less toxic than one might think because a living mushroom can grow with them on I mean that doesn't say too much but it is very interesting that the mushroom was able to live in the liver stone infested water and that they're uh, directly right on the kombucha mushroom and it's still growing alright so this science experiment only proves that liver and gallstones can dissolve in kombucha mushroom tea um, so longevity drink 
but that is only that is only for sure that they can dissolve inside directly inside the kombucha mushroom drink uh, submerged directly in it um, there's no way knowing from this science experiment that how much the liver and gallstones would dissolve in the body in the liver and gallbladder um, maybe I'll come up with a way uh, a way to scientifically prove how much stones can dissolve in the liver and gallbladder with these different ingredients but for now this is going to have to do for the liver flushing community for liver and gallstone research um, there it is you can definitely see that big mushroom in there with all the stones attached so quite very amazing and interesting folks this is awesome uh, thanks for watching that's more liver and gallstone research for the liver flushing community Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. I'm Jordan Blake, the liver flush man. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time.